unchangeable weather this season. to mingle. Your Worship, I'm glad you're here. Listen, I need you to keep the Chief distracted while we sneak this dragon skull through the room behind him. I'm looking forward to seeing where this goes. It's for his birthday. I'll see what I can do, Krem. All right, here he comes. Just keep him talking. He loves talking. Hey, boss. Good to see you. It's good to see that the veil has largely healed, now that most of the major rifts are closed. You might think otherwise, but the veil isn't technically a physical barrier. It's more like a magical vibration that repels the fade. Hmm. It's fascinating to see the remnants of Syrian culture here. Most of it was deliberately erased during Orlesian unification under the reign of Mafarath's son, Isarath. Uh-huh. Did you know that Ferelden has its own names for lords? The country is divided into Tairnirs, governed by Tairns. Inside those are cities and Arlings ruled by Arls, and then there's the Banorn. It's a large area of countryside ruled by multiple bands. Good to know. I'm sorry, I can't do this. Sure you can. They must have that thing almost across the room by now, right? Ben Hasrath, remember. Surprise! Happy birthday, Chief! Oh, you guys! You got me! Hey, boss. Inquisitor Herald. Glad to be back for whatever it is this lot have shoved up their sleeves. Just right up in there. That's it? It's been some time. Well, we don't know what's what, so what's there to go on about? It's Inquisition business, innit? That's all we are. Maybe sort out how they want to mess with us. Then there'll be something to talk about.
It's been quite a day so far, has it not? I've been speaking with representatives from everywhere. Have they given you trouble? Not at all. It is quite alarming. It means they are all saving themselves up for later. Would you walk with me? I should like to take some air before the Exalted Council becomes inescapable. The palace has been most accommodating. We are, after all, here at their insistence. But the ministers may... No. No more talk of the Council. This meeting was to spend time with you in a more relaxed fashion. You're tense as a bowstring. <sighs> I'm so very dreadful at this. The truth is, there is a small entertainment happening tonight, to which I may be able to find a pair of invitations. You'd like me to go with you? Oh, very much so. In all the years you worked with Orlay, you had so little time to enjoy its culture. Perhaps you're right. These meetings and talks don't allow for much leisure time. And then back to Skyhold without a moment's pause to take in where we are. With all that's been happening, I promised myself a single evening out. I'd very much like to go with a friend. And what is this small entertainment? Something to ease our minds. I would very much like to surprise you with the details. Thank you for thinking of me. I'd be delighted to attend. Splendid! I will arrange things at once. The past years have been so busy. We have earned at least a few moments of rest. A calm night out sounds... Oh, bravo! Bravo! I've been in battles that were quieter than this. Oh, yes. What a stupendous voice Lady Brask has. Her D-sharp once shattered an entire conservatory. But tell me, did you enjoy the performance? That was... one of the greatest things I've ever seen. Truly. That part with the glittery... And they actually set fire to... <laughs> yes, I truly enjoyed it. Then I call tonight a great success. Oh, look! The encore signal!